Okay, so you can say favour you mean we could share in a bed, but it wouldn't go any further than that. The sleazy landlord is preying on vulnerable girls and offering his lavish city flat for free if the tenant was willing to share a bed with him for cuddling twice a week. I replied to his ad on Craigslist and went to meet the man pretending to be a prospective tenant in a desperate situation. His swanky one-bedroom flat worth £1,200 a month was being offered for free to women only in return for other favours. So what would you expect from me? Something normal, something like uh, as if uh, nothing crazy, nothing strange, just like uh, normal with you. When you say normal, <laughs> I just want to, I want to be sure, I just want to know where I'm going to start. Yeah. 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 yeah, so it's just uh, probably like nothing to the moon, but other than this. There'll be nothing else other than no. just sleeping together. And when you say sleeping, you mean sleeping, as yeah. in sleeping, yeah. or do you mean anything else? Well, maybe come Okay. But you wouldn't expect anything else from me. Oh, when you said, oh, let's just go somewhere. Or would you? I mean, I don't know that leads us, but it's just maybe just a bit of And so the rent would be completely free? Nothing. I then rang the landlord to confront him over his Craigslist ad and understand his motives behind it. I mean, look, I, I was looking for a bit of a company, so it's, it's nothing. I, I'm not asking for anything, and I wasn't asking anything, so I don't think it's anything that I've done wrong, so... But do you understand that some of these girls that you meet might be feeling quite vulnerable? Desperate was definitely a word that I used when I met you. You know, I've been in a position before, you know, and, you know, if I could help, I'd help people, you know, so I, I don't see a problem, you know, like if you help somebody, you like... Even though you'd be sharing a bed with them and obviously cuddling them and everything else, I mean, they might be yeah. feeling quite low and... Yeah, but they don't have to do any, any of that stuff, you know, there's a sofa, there's a living room, there's a big apartment, so... And I, I'm not asking, you know, like, uh, for anything in return, because I don't really need anything. If somebody wants, it's a different story. If they don't want, they don't have to. I found dozens more listings just like this, as seedy landlords look to exploit the vulnerable and hard up being priced out of accommodation. The law states a crime is committed when a person causes or incites someone to become a prostitute under the Sexual Offences Act 2003. But there are no known prosecutions over sex for rent in the UK because it is such a new phenomenon.